I yeah. won't ask you now, but I will ask you, you know, I'll text you to see where you're living because I don't know if you're close to me or not. I'm in the Valley. I'm in Studio City. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So you're close to me. Yeah. Have you ever gone to, yeah. uh, to Rocco's? No. Wait, where is that? It's it it's on, on Ventura, Ventura, but I think yeah, maybe I have. It's really good Italian. It's a cool bar, you know. I have, and it, it's um. Yeah. What's what's that guy's name? <laughs> there goes what's the guy's guy. name that owns it, runs it? What's his name? He owns it. I don't know, but I like I take dates there and shit, you know, because it's like <laughs> I take dates you there know, and shit. I, I like it's either that or so cool. I love Dantanas. Hint, hint. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, it's it starts off by him saying, where do you live? Don't tell me now. I'll text you as if she's going to give him her specific address, which she's not. Right. Yeah, that's like, where do you live? She's like, I'll tell you the town I live in. It's no problem. You know? And then and she's goes, like, who, who owns it? <laughs> who owns it? Thinking, well, Thinking he's do, got do you like own the, know the owner or something? Right. He doesn't give a shit. He just wanted to mention that he takes dates there. That was the whole point of that conversation. Oh, yeah. I, I date lots of hot chicks. That's where we like to go. They have some really good food. And he, he's constantly saying that, like, he likes the place because of the bar. You notice that you pick up on that, too? Where he's like, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I really like the bar there. Now, this is interesting because Bobby Brown is very much against alcoholism. Her ex-husband yeah. died of it. And she got mm-hmm. a divorce because of it. And even though she explains this to John, he's still not picking up on this. And then how long were you with Jenny for? Three and a half years. We didn't get divorced until six, and we remained friends until he he died. What? Why? Um. Uh, uh, what was the reason that you got divorced? Um, because he was such a bad alcoholic. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I hate that. Yeah. Well, swinging. So he takes a swig of his beer. She did not find that funny. No. He, he, yeah. he, 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 she goes, yeah, he was such a bad alcoholic. It, it was a horrible marriage. He doesn't even want to go into it, even though he, he does pry. And he goes, oh, he's alcoholic, huh? Oh, <laughs> good, 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 good. Uh, sucks to be you. Yeah. Like, she, yeah, she's you. against drugs in general because throughout this she mentions that like even her ex one of her exes would push uh, heroin on her and ask her if she wants to try and shit. Tommy Lee did. And at yeah. some point she... She asks, um, can I go grab my vape pen real quick? This is stressing me out. And John replies with five, club five. Yeah, 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 yeah I don't smoke weed until after my show. I don't like uh, getting uh, stoned until I do my, you know what I mean? That's not true. <laughs> that was nope. a fun with your, with your video editing. I like it. This is such a fucking lie. Also, he immediately assumes that her vape must be a fucking weed vape, right. upon which she replies with, no, it's nicotine, by right. the way. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, he's he's not a good listener, Kaya. He doesn't seem to pick up on anything that she's she's saying. Not a good lie. So let me ask you, when, when you... Uh, like, like you said, you haven't dated anyone six years, right? Yeah. Now, obviously, you're incredibly attractive, so you must get hit on. Not really. After John was hitting on her for 20 minutes straight, he's like, so do you get hit on a lot? She's like, just you. You're the only asshole. I put out the vibe that says, I don't want to talk to you, and most guys pick up on it, but not you for some reason. I don't know. You've completely misunderstood his intentions because he was just being friendly, Carl, and I'll prove it to you in my clip 10. Okay, good. Let's definitely go to Rocco's or something. Have a couple of uh, you know cocktails. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, as friends. I'm not. I'm you know. I'm not, I know. She I know. She doesn't drink. You know. Jesus Christ, John. She does uh, not drink. She made this very clear. <laughs> as friends, as friends. <laughs> unless. Yeah. Uh, just kidding. Uh, unless. <laughs> I, I'll tell you what. After this conversation, I feel like I know you very well. Let's go get fucked up on drugs and drink. <laughs> and then you can mm-hmm. sleep with me, even though you haven't slept with a guy in six years, and you're repulsed by us. How about that? Holy shit, John. You're an idiot. And this is early on when he's talking about the life lessons you can get from his own book. I'm telling you, Bobby, in my book, is it for you to say, 
the, the, the first mantra, never believe in the two words no and can't. You, you know Thank what I mean? Yeah, well, my doctor says no more alcohol. Your liver can't take it. I just don't believe it. I don't believe in no or can't. Did you see her like exasperated? Okay. Yeah, it's like it's like okay. It's a, that's a platitude. It's not impressive. Yeah, it's because she keeps getting angry and angrier. Like, read my fucking book. I don't like. I don't need this advice. Yeah, right. She's like, Any I've lived it. a very hard life and I've learned from it. And now I'm trying comedy and I'm reinventing myself and I'm over it. And John just wants to keep going back to talk about things that she does not want to talk about. I can't imagine mm -hmm. a worse interview question than this one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, so who broke your heart more, Janie or Tommy? They both broke my heart in different ways. Yeah. Um, yeah. Explain. Great fucking question, asshole. She made it so clear. She does not want to talk about this stuff. And then it's all in her book. If you want to know about it, read her book or listen to her book. And John goes, explain to me all the worst times in your life. Go. <laughs> Let's get into detail. She even has to remind him at some point. She says, like, you know, he had a lot of demons. That's why his drug use was so bad. But I don't yeah. want to talk about it. He immediately goes, oh, what? What kind of demons? What, what was the problem? What and she has to shut him down a second time. Yeah, she, he goes, what was it specifically? She's like, I don't want to talk about <laughs> it. I just made that very clear. <laughs> I, I, did break. you find this fascinating, this this beer on the balcony? I, I couldn't believe it. I had a lot of fun with this I, one. Let's get into the book talk. Yeah, do you have do your it. clips? I'm sure no, this you is probably you, have better. This is all you. Okay, well. Who could have seen this coming? So you've been reviewing his book on your bonus episodes. I have. Um, what was it called again? Easy for you to say. Easy for you to say, right. So it turns out him and her have the same publisher, <laughs> Clip 7. So what are the names of both books? Dirty Rocker Boys um, and Cherry on Top, which I've never been paid for, so I don't promote them. With Rare Bird Books, they suck. That's the, that's the book company that I had my book on. Oh, do you get paid? Because I never have. <laughs> no, and... <laughs> and they, they refused to show receipts. And they <laughs> fucking sent in the the wrong version to the printer, the un um, uh, proofread version. So there's all I these... I have like six uh -huh. versions that I've never been paid for. <laughs> this is an amazing conversation. <laughs> they, they didn't... Proof greed it. <laughs> not my fault. <laughs> That's so funny. She goes, I fucking hate my publisher. They screwed me over. Oh yeah, who is it? That's mine! Like he's all excited about it. Like they're gonna like have a party. Like, wow, we have that in common? That's not a good thing. Yeah, because he must fucking hate them. I guess like when he was reading his own audiobook, did he not notice that there was a bunch of grammar pro problems in it? I That's a good question. And uh, also, I would he even know what a grammar issue was. Also, would he ever have admitted, would he ever have admitted that he made no money off his book if she hadn't said that? There's no way. No, no. He he does claim that he made money, though, which is my other clip. That's clip eight. Oh, so he has to change his mind on this one? Yeah, I did get the, I did get, see, I, I don't know about you, but, like, I got. The first, the, the tiny advance that they offer in the beginning. Half yeah, I got 21 grand, I think, up front. I I got like six. <laughs> and, my... and then he laughs in her face. He laughs in her face. <laughs> I got triple that bitch. You dumb bitch. I'll tell you what, we go to Rocco's, I'll treat, because I got triple that about dumb idiots. He has like no courtesy. He has no idea how he's coming off to her. But she by the way, she's seething. She's super yes. fucking angry about this. Not the moment to laugh at her, even jokingly, because she's I don't know if you have those clips, but she's legitimately talking about wanting to beat up the guy who scammed her out of all the money, supposedly. Well, but what's interesting is that yeah. John keeps bringing her into conversations that make her uncomfortable and unhappy. And if John's try yeah. if this is John's technique for hitting on girls, like why not ask her what kind of shoes she's wearing? That would be a much better way to go about he it. He tried that with the star sign. Are you a Libra? That's true. But that's a really good point, actually. All the conversations are about like shit that makes her miserable. They're right. like, oh, your ex-husband died. Why did he die? 
you you don't like drugs how come oh he was a drug user uh, oh you got fucked in the book st- uh, stalker uh, but yeah. not just explaining um, that but also going can you go into detail about how how upset you were about that she's like no i don't want to go and get paid more than you <laughs> <laughs> and then the, wor- the worst part uh, is is as they're going through these conversations she's bringing up people from her past and she's like well i don't know if they're gonna see this they might but blah, blah, blah. And i'm like honey no one's gonna see this and she thinks she's on a show people are going to see. This is watched by a dozen people. Yeah, us. <laughs> right. We're, we're two of the, ta- um, of the 12. Okay, I just have one more, and then you can play your book clips. Um, here, John blames his issues that he had with his publisher on autocorrect. Oh, clip nine. Perfect. That dude needs an ass whooping. Oh, he does, because I'll tell you how it ended with me. Like, didn't end, but, like, how I, it was so odd with me is that I said, <laughs> like, you know, like, I sent him an email. Like, I, I don't know. It was, it, and, and like, like it autocorrected and didn't say the, the exact thing. And then he was, like, and then he started fucking trash me. And That's I'm what saying. I'm saying. That's what you're yeah. me. Poor John. He's just always the victim. It just never works out for him. He's always the victim of technology, of trolls. Also, how hard can you miss autocorrect something that it starts an argument or a fight <laughs> with your employer? I just want to say that Kaya called that clip, duck you. Well done, sir. Yeah. Very funny. <laughs> but yeah, I agree with you. When I see someone who has their message autocorrected, I can usually pick up on what they were trying to say. I usually can know. Like, what type of weird coincidence do you insult someone with autocorrect? <laughs> 